Honeywell continues to improve its industry-leading Primus Elite avionics system. The advanced features Phase 3 retrofit for G4, G4SP, and G5 aircraft bring new features to the primary flight display. In this video, we will explore some of the updates to the PFD, including full-screen ADI display, nav preview, and time-to-go readout. The most significant enhancement to the PFD, the Synthetic Vision System, is covered in a separate video. The entire PFD has been given a refresh, although most of the traditional layout and symbology remain the same. The full screen ADI is one of the most significant changes crews will notice. Maintaining awareness of the aircraft's attitude is easier than ever now that the blue over brown display fills the entire PFD. Along with a full screen display, the ADI has several new features. The low bank arc is now displayed on the roll scale if bank is selected on the guidance panel. The single Q attitude reference symbol has been updated, allowing greater visibility when using SVS. The flight path angle marker on G5 aircraft is now color coded to match the other display formats. When using the flight path flight director, the FPA marker is the primary reference symbol, and its color is changed from magenta to white. The flight path angle flight director remains magenta. The vertical speed display has moved and can now be found to the right of the altitude tape. The digital readout has also been changed to a two-digit format, which displays vertical speed in hundreds of feet per minute. As in previous versions of Primus Elite, the cross pointer display can be selected. There are also several enhancements to the HSI display. The Time to Go Enunciator displays the time to the next waypoint in the FMS flight plan. And an offset enunciator is displayed during an FMS lateral offset. On G4SP and G5 aircraft, when preview of short range navigation is enabled on the display controller, the selected course readout is now continuously displayed on the PFD. The aircraft heading readout is now continuously displayed in both the 180 and 120 degree HSI formats. G4 pilots can now benefit from the TCAS Resolution Advisory Pitch Command, a feature carried over from G4SP and G5 aircraft. The TCAS RA Pitch Command simplifies time critical TCAS RA maneuvers by displaying a green Fly 2 pitch box on the ADI. Once the aircraft symbol arrives in the Fly 2 pitch box, it will turn green, indicating the correct pitch input has been made. These PFD enhancements are just some of the exciting new features available with the Honeywell Primus Elite Advanced Features Phase 3 Retrofit. For more details about all of the new capabilities Phase 3 provides, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.